A 12 year old boy is being called a hero after the boat he was in capsized in the Atlantic Ocean. The boy, his grandfather and a friend, they'd gone out for a day of fishing when storms swept through and flipped their boat over. News for Jackson reporter Janice Harris spoke with that 12 year old and his grandfather about this ordeal. She's joining us now live from the marina in Fernandina Beach where the trio took out from. This is the exact same marina where they left from early Monday morning. That trip that was supposed to be some fun in the sun and fishing turned to a disaster. These are the smiling faces of 12 year old Brayton Taylor and his grandfather, Jamie Dionis. Along for their fishing trip is one of Dionis's friends, a retired firefighter. Being born and raised here, we love to fish offshore and I've done that as a as a kid, but we're uh, we're fair weather fishermen. We like the sun out and we like the sea smooth. So that was Monday for us. On Monday around 7 a.m., the three head out to sea with sunshine and calm winds. Then five hours later, looking back towards the west, coming back uh, towards Amelia Island, I noticed the sky had started to change just a little bit. We saw a weather uh, system that was actually west of Yuli, so it was about 30 plus miles away from us at that point. And so we kind of started making our way back in mm -hmm. right when that took place. Unlike any other fishing trip, Dion has put on his life jacket along with his grandson and friend, jackets that arrived just the day before. What we witnessed that day was something that I had never experienced before. It was blowing so hard I couldn't talk to my friend right next to me or to Brayden. It was just... I was screaming. Yeah. Was, you were screaming? Yeah. I, I was like trying to tell them something like stuff like people th think the things were flying out of the boat and I was trying to tell them and they yeah. couldn't hear me. There was a uh, very little time to think about what was going on. It took mm. place just that quick. Their boat began to fill with water and the winds were unbearable. Minutes later, the storms took over and flipped their boat upside down. Braden was trapped. And I was half under it whenever uh, the life jacket shot me up. Half my body was under it. Really? Only my head was like sticking out from under the boat. Their life jackets inflated. Do you remember what your grandpa said once the boat capsized? Uh, I just know that I was screaming, like scared, like I was, I was thinking we were all going to die. And then he, uh, he said, it's going to be okay. And then he grabbed onto me and then pulled us to the back of the boat. We were all holding on. For two hours, as 12 year old Brayden sat atop the boat, he began waving and blowing his whistle. All of a sudden the boat turned very aggressively towards us. And I knew at that point that, that at least somebody saw us. The 61 foot sport fishing boat was traveling from Palm Beach to New York. The captain saw a little boy in a straw hat waving for help. It was Braden Taylor. After enduring three storms in two hours, the three were rescued safely. Those guys were the true heroes that day. God was certainly with us that day. We were very blessed to uh, to not have had any more catastrophes than what we experienced. And the grandfather who you just heard from said typically he doesn't put on a life jacket as soon as he gets on a boat, but he will from now on for quite a long time. And they're also very grateful that they were rescued and feel lucky to be alive because in just a couple of days, they'll be celebrating Brayden's 13th birthday. Happy birthday, Brayden. Reporting live from Fernandina Beach Marina, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.